Welcome back, Seaway and Cardinal kids. I am so excited that you guys are joining me in my living room again for a little kid zone. So uh, last week I talked to you guys about how much Jesus cares about you and how important you are to our church. And this week I just want to share with you how God can use the simple thing that you carry in your hands. So there's a story in John 6, uh, verse 1 through 14. And I'm just going to give you the Mel translation. Uh, I kind of read the story and did a little uh, quick Mel version. So we're not going to read through all 14 verses. So basically, Jesus is sitting on a mountain, which is actually accurate. Uh, verse 3 says he was sitting on a mountain. So I feel like I might have got that right last week too. And a bunch of people followed him to this mountain. They all thought he was really awesome and really cool and... They just like to follow him around in like these big groups of people. So, and when I say a big group, like I don't mean like 200, 300. There were 5,000 people. And back then they used to only really count the men. So there could have been more than that. That was just 5,000 men, but there were actually women and children that were there too. So um, the group was probably actually bigger than 5,000. So anyways, um, Jesus decides he wants to test the disciples. He wants to just see how much they trust him and have faith in what Jesus can do. So he says to them, hey guys, like how are we gonna feed all these people? We need to feed them. They all followed us out here to this mountain. Like doesn't look like any of them really packed a lunch. We need to feed them. And the disciples are all like talking to each other and they're like, we don't have the money for this. I don't know if you guys have ever heard your parents say like, mm, it's not in the budget. So the disciples are saying to Jesus, like, sorry, like Jesus, like we don't have that kind of money. It's not in the budget. Like it would take us months and months and months to come up with the amount of money that we would need to feed these people. And so Jesus is like, okay, but like they followed us here. Like we need to feed them. And so finally one disciple steps up and says, well, hey, I might have an idea. So this one disciple, he found the smartest person in the crowd, which guess what guys? happened to be a little boy. This little boy was the only one who packed a lunch to follow Jesus. He had uh, five loaves of bread and two fish, and that's all they had on the whole mountain. So like if they went around and asked everybody, this is the only person who was smart enough to pack lunch to go listen to Jesus preach. So Jesus is like, okay, bring it over. Like, like let's see if this little boy will share his lunch with everyone. Like, okay, he's got five loaves of bread, two fish, 5,000 people, probably more. But, you know, let's see if he'll offer to share his lunch. So the disciples are like, okay, so they, they get the little boy to willingly give up his lunch, I think. And um, he brings the fish and the loaves to Jesus, and Jesus says grace. Like, you guys know how when you're sitting at your table, you just say a little prayer and bless the food? It's basically what Jesus did. He blessed the five loaves and the, three, uh, the two fish. So Jesus says his grace, and the disciples start walking around the mountain and feeding everyone. And so then at the, like near the end of the um, little group of verses, Jesus says to the disciples, like, hey, everybody's fed. They're like, yeah, like everybody's eaten. Like all 5,000 people ate um, and are full. Like everybody's good. And Jesus says to them, okay, I want you to go collect the leftovers. Leftovers. There was five loaves of bread and two fish and like, 5,000 plus people, there's not going to be leftovers, but okay, like we'll go get, we'll go get the leftovers. So the disciples head out, they take their 12 baskets that they had and they each start collecting leftovers like, oh, you guys are done. Okay. We take, we're going to take this and they bring all the 12 baskets back to Jesus. And when they start like putting together what they have left, they still have five loaves of bread left. So I know you guys are all doing e-learning right now at school, at, or well, not at school, at home. Um, and you, maybe some of you older kids, like I know Riley's been having some uh, math questions that are like word problems. And uh, I'm pretty sure that there's no one that could solve this math problem. Five loaves of bread, two fish, 5,000 people, and we fed them all and we still have five loaves of bread. That doesn't make any sense to me. The only explanation for this is a true miracle of God. And so uh, I wanna ask you guys today, what's in your hand? Do you have something that you could use for God? Because I'm sure when this little boy was following Jesus, going up to the mountain and 
he had his little lunch. He did not in a million years think that Jesus was going to take that and expand it and feed such a massive group of people. So maybe you guys are sitting at home and you have a talent or you have something special that you can do, uh, sing, dance, maybe you can play an instrument. What is it that you can do that's in your hands that you have available to you that you could use for God? So um, I would love to hear some of your answers if you guys want to reach out and check in with us. Um, I'm so thankful that you guys are joining us each week for this little Kid Zone video. And I hope that this um, blessed you and just helped you really think that God is willing to use a kid's lunch. So I'm sure that whatever you have in your hands, he's willing to use too. So I'm just going to say a quick prayer and then um, that's it for this week. So dear Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for the great kids that are joining us on Kids Zone, God. I want to thank you for the kids of Seaway and I want to thank you for the kids of Cardinal. But I also want to thank you for any other child that stumbles upon this uh, on the platform that it is and watches this. And if they have the opportunity to think, God, what can you use me for? God, I pray that you would speak to them. So I just pray blessing over these children this week as they continue their week of Eli learning and they just um, basically live in isolation at home. I just pray that you will be with them and keep them safe in Jesus name. Amen. I love you guys. I miss you. I can't wait to start teaching you again in person. But for now, I'm so glad that I have this opportunity to share fun stories in the Bible with you. God bless. I love you.